Hello everyone and welcome to the basics of ETABS. So far we have seen how to form a grid for a given plan, how to define the materials, how to define the properties. Now in this video we will see how to draw the column, how to change the orientation of a column or how to uh, place the column perfectly in their position according to the plan. So uh, as you can see in this corner there is a, uh, one drop down list, one story, all story or similar story. If I want to draw a column on all story, I should select all story or if I want to work only or if I want that whatever I am doing should be reflect on one story only then should select one story only. Okay. And similar story, I will show you the use of this similar story option in next video. So here, since my plan is uh, what uh, since my plan is same for all story. So here I am selecting all story. Okay. Uh, okay, after selecting all story, we will draw the columns as per the plan given. So this is the plan. So at every uh, joint there is a column. So there are many ways, several ways of drawing a column. I'll show you one by one. This is the icon. As you can see, quick draw column. I'll click on this. Okay. So you have to change this first okay i need to draw a column of a 300 by 450 i'll select uh, from the drop down list okay one way just go over here and uh, click you can see that column will be there again go over here and click that column will be there or you can simply drag like this okay so column will be added okay like this like this over here okay so we'll again go to the plan as you can see we don't need the column over here okay so we will delete this and if you can see since i have selected all stories over here so although i am drawing a column on one plan only but it is uh, applied to all story right if uh, we have selected one story here then uh, it will be reflected uh, for one story only okay so let it be all story for being now press escape i don't want this okay i want to delete this column so to select the column you have to just drag like this okay you cannot select a column by going on column and then clicking you are going to select nodes only the column will not be selected as you can see here okay so just avoid uh, this to select whole column just drag around the column like this you can see now the whole column is selected i don't want this column go and delete okay so okay another thing uh, that uh, orientation of this four column is somewhat different okay so we can change uh, uh, we can change the orientation of a column uh, there are the two ways either we can change the orientation of existing column or we can draw the column with this orientation i'll show you both the ways again this column is also not needed we will delete this okay now select the columns whose orientation need to change one two three and four okay then uh, go to assign go to uh, sorry go to assign frames in frames go to local axis okay go to assign frames and local axis i need to rotate these columns by 90 degree click on apply oh, now you can see that the orientations are changed but uh, these local axes are uh, visible over here okay if you want to delete this local axis or make invisible this local axis go to assign again and click on clear display of assigns 
okay so in this way we have add the, uh, we have uh, changed the orientation of the column you can change the orientation of the column at a desired angle at a 45 46 48 60 whatever you want just enter the value okay so this was the uh, one method otherwise what i am doing i know that this four column are needed like this or just undo okay We will draw this column again. Select column. Okay. While selecting, it is asking that angle. Angle uh, at what angle do you need? If I click here, like this. Already, just we have done uh, or we have changed the orientation. That's why here 90 is showing. Otherwise, it will be a zero. By default, it will be a zero. Okay. Uh, but I want to change its orientation by 90 degree just enter here 90 and go to the desired points and just click now the column will be column will placed in a desired position so this is another method okay so in this way uh, we have added the column to the structure successfully in next video we will be adding a beam okay